Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the first of my weekly vlogs for my A-level exams. It is Monday the 20th today and my first exam is tomorrow. I have my history paper one tomorrow so I'm starting the vlog today because I was sick form all day today because I don't have study leave unfortunately. It's been a stressful experience. I wish I did have study leave but here we are. So there's no point in me starting it earlier because I was just in lessons and stuff, but I am home from school now. So I thought now is a good time to film it because it's the night before. So it's not gonna be the stressful morning or anything. So yeah, as I said, I have my first exam tomorrow. This is my timetable. I thought it would be good for me to just show you quickly so you can get kind of an understanding of what I'm doing. Basically this week is going to be a weekly vlog so I have history tomorrow and then I've got English on Thursday Then I have a May half term so I'm not going to vlog May half term I don't think I might just do a study with me or a day in the life during May half term but I'm not going to weekly vlog it Then I'm going to weekly vlog this week and this is my heftiest week I have the English paper 2 on the Monday I have history on the Wednesday and then I've got biology on the Thursday so three in one week there are all different subjects that's quite intense and then these two weeks here I just have one biology exam in both of them so that's weirdly spaced out so this from like Wednesday to Tuesday is probably also gonna be a weekly vlog also I'm not sure what the format of these videos is gonna be it's not going to be a study with me if that's what you're expecting. It's going to be more of like an exam diary type thing. So it's going to be a lot of me sort of speaking to the camera saying I've got an exam or this is how I think the exam went, etc, etc. I will include time lapses of me working like I did in my mock exam vlog, but it's not going to be sort of um, reflective of how much work I'm doing so I'm not going to film every time I do work because it just adds another whole level of pressure that I do not need <laughs> at the moment so yeah. As I was saying I have a history paper one tomorrow so I am just going to do two or three hours tonight I think a fairly chilled out revision. I don't want to do too much content because I feel like if I start looking at loads of content and stuff it's just going to stress me out if I don't know like the tiniest bit so I'm going to do historians views on Quizlet just going through those and I'm not really sure what else like I might read over some past essays I've written just so I can get in the mind frame of sort of the exam technique but yeah apart from that we're just going to see how it goes this clip is four minutes long though so I'm going to stop rambling now and I will see you whenever I next see you which is probably going to be in a time lapse, so yeah. <laughs> half past six now or 20 to seven more like and I've actually finished working already it took me a lot less time than I thought it would but to be fair I did forget that I did an hour of work at school earlier on the Tudors where I went through all the exam plans I've done and my summary table so I didn't have to do that this evening so all I did this evening was I went through my historian view flashcards and I also went through my statistic flashcards for all of the monarchs so that's why it didn't take me very long. I literally did like an hour and a half of work this evening, which seems like hardly any, but 
I figured there's no point in me just doing more hours for the sake of it if it's just going to be counterproductive and I've done everything that I want to do. And also, luckily, my exam tomorrow is in the afternoon, so I have a good three hours of revision before it because I have two hours in the morning where I've got two free periods where I can revise. And then period three, I have a master class just before the exam, so that's like a last minute revision session that we do at school. So I have three hours tomorrow morning, so... I was going to go through my short answer test flashcards for all of them but I figured I may as well do that tomorrow morning as sort of like a consolidation exercise so yeah. I just thought I'd update you because I don't want this to seem like I'm doing loads of work because a time lapse can seem quite long but it's only an hour and a half of work so yeah. I'm probably just going to watch a film now on Netflix because may as well just chill out and then I'm probably going to get an early night and... Yeah, I also have a cup of tea, as usual, that I nearly just spill everywhere. Tuesday today and it is the day of my first exam. I woke up at five this morning and um, I fell back asleep but ever since I woke up I've had just a pit in the bottom of my, in the bottom of my stomach. I probably sounded so cocky yesterday being like yeah I'm so chill I'm just finished work gonna watch a film and now I'm like crap <laughs> like this is actually happening. I don't think it's sunk in yet I don't, like, still, I don't think I've realised that I actually have my exam this afternoon, but part of me must have because I have just this feeling in the bottom of my stomach that's horrible. Like, I don't feel nervous, but then, like, my body clearly does. I don't know. It's weird, but i just done an hour of work this morning. I'm about to head off to sick form now because... Um, I have a lesson, but she's letting us revise in it, so that's fine. I'm just going to do another hour. I was going through my short answer tests like I said I would. Um, I got through Henry VII, Henry VIII and Edward and Mary so I just need to do my Elizabeth one at school and then I'm not really sure what I'm going to do after that but yeah I'm feeling the pressure now especially because oh my god I thought like I was fine with some of the content and then I was going over these short answer tests and I was like ah I did not remember that. So yeah. I will probably see you next when I'm back after the exam because I'm probably not going to vlog when I'm at school. So yeah, wish me luck. Okay, I just thought I'd quickly show you what I am wearing today because I know some of you like to know this, but this t-shirt is from Superdry but it's from ASOS, it's just this plain black one with a logo. These trousers are Stradivarius, I think they're also from ASOS and honestly I could not recommend these enough, they are so 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 comfy, I love wearing them to sick form because they're super light which is great for sort of like in between weird weather we're having at the moment. Then I have this denim jacket that is Boohoo, also from ASOS I think and then I'm wearing my Nike uh, M2Ks as well so Hello, so I just got back from my history exam, so I just thought I'd give you an update on how it went. Honestly, I'm not really sure, to be honest. It was all going really well because the source questions on the first part of the history paper were really, really nice. I feel like I answered them quite well. And then out of the three essay options that I have for the second part of the paper, I only liked one of them, so that essay went fairly okay. I feel like it was quite wishy-washy still and not very well written, but that one went okay. But then my second one was literally shambles. AQA keep doing this really annoying thing where, despite the fact that Tudors is supposed to be our breadth paper, they keep zooming in on tiny little bits. So the question that I answered was about Spain during Elizabeth's reign, and it was literally 
about Spain in the space of 20 years which cuts off like so much stuff that you can say so it's just so annoying because I feel like I'm disappointed because I feel like I had so much more to say and I had so much more that I could have given but I just couldn't because of the restrictions of the questions and it's just so annoying like I've learned so much for, the for them to ask about 20 years about Spain in, in, in Elizabeth's foreign policy. This probably doesn't make any sense to you if you don't do Tudors and you don't do AQA but oh uh, it's just annoying and like I only used two historian views in the whole thing which is such a waste because I just didn't have any that applied to the questions that I was answering which is so annoying because I had so many good ones that I'd remembered but yeah I'm just gonna see how it goes really I hope the exam is nice because my exact my essay is quite wishy-washy both of them are sort of here there and everywhere and I'm clutching at straws especially for the Spain ones so I'm not sure. It is not the greatest start to my exams ever. It definitely didn't go disastrously, like I answered them to the best of my ability, just the restrictions of the questions are just... Uh, but yeah, I finished in time and everything that's good though because the, the timings on those exams are so tight but I did manage to finish. My Spain essay, my second essay, was significantly shorter than my first one though so... I'm not sure how that's gonna go but I literally had nothing more to say like there was nothing more I could say so oh I don't know but I have English on Thursday so I should really be revising for that but I don't know if I can tonight like I might just do a couple hours but it's just not the greatest start is it like it's not the most encouraging start so I'm a bit worried for English now although English is OCR so different exam board and everything but yeah good morning it is wednesday today and it's around nine o'clock i have just done an hour of work i was just going through some quote flashcards for hamlet and a doll's house i'm gonna head into sick form in a second as well because i've got a few lessons today i have a history lesson and a biology lesson which is kind of annoying because my exam tomorrow is english literature but I do have two free periods and obviously I have time to revise tonight. I'm sorry I didn't vlog a lot last night. There's two reasons for it really. One was that I was just in like such a like bad mindset after that exam. I felt so dejected and discouraged because I always saw history as sort of my backup in a sense because I have quite a good track record with my grades in history and so the fact that I didn't do as well as I hoped was just a bit of a kick but um, anyway I just need to focus on my exam tomorrow although that is easier said than done but yeah and oh yeah the second reason was that I didn't actually do any work as a result I just couldn't really focus properly and I just kept thinking about the exam so I just thought I'd take the evening off and then just go um, and do more work today so hopefully today should be a better day so yeah I'm about to head off to sick form now, as I said. <laughs> I just have on a super simple outfit today because it's supposedly going up to 18 degrees again, but it literally looks so grey outside. I don't know if you can see that or not, so I've just got this on. I've just got this really comfy night hoodie on and then just some plain black leggings and I'll probably just put my Vans on as well. Very, very boring outfit, but it's comfy and it's fairly warm, so I don't really care. <laughs> about half past four now and I am home from sick form to be fair I got home around an hour ago I think but I literally just slumped when I got back during biology which was my last lesson I just got so ridiculously tired so 
I've just made myself a coffee as I showed you in the hope that this will slightly wake me up because I have a lot that I need to do tonight for my history, not history, oh my god, <laughs> oh my brain is mush, for my English exam tomorrow. I went through my chapter summaries for Hamlet and the Doll's House earlier and my Hamlet and Doll's House quote flashcards so this evening I need to go through my poem um, like summaries, my poem flashcards and then also all of the critical interpretations and performances for all of them so I've just actually realised how much that is oh and I'm so tired I'm literally not even at my second exam yet and I'm already done with exam season but I'm probably just going to do an hour now and then have dinner and then try and do a few more hours after dinner hmm, this is not good <laughs> Thursday today and oh my god why am I losing my voice and it's the day of my English exam it's currently like eight o'clock I'm about to sit down and do an hour or so of work because I managed to get out of biology this morning I would have had a biology lesson first period but I emailed him and said like can I have the hour to revise so he said yes so that's what I'm doing this morning I'm just gonna run through my critics and like exact quotations because that's the bit that I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting who said what in terms of critics and sort of like their school of debate or whatever you call it. So yeah, that is my plan. At the moment I'm feeling okay, I feel fairly calm but we'll see. The exam is in the afternoon again though so I'm gonna have to go into sick form and then I have an actual lesson of English and then I have a masterclass and then I have like a 10 minute warm up and then I have my exam. So it is a lot of English today, but hopefully it should go okay. Okay, I have just finished working and I'm about to head to sick form. I just thought I'd quickly show you what I am wearing today. I'm actually wearing a dress. Like, I never wear dresses, but this one is from New Look and it's super, super comfy. It's just this really stretchy sort of ribbed material and I thought it's supposed to be like a 20 degrees today or something and it always gets so sweaty in the exam hall so I thought this would be a good option. I'm just wearing it with a denim jacket as well and then probably also going to wear it with my Nike M2Ks. So yeah, hair is up in a ponytail as usual because I really cannot be asked to do anything with it during exam season and I just like having it out of my face, out of the way. So yeah, I'm going to leave now. Hello, so I have just got back from sick form. It's half past four, which means I got out of my exam literally half an hour ago and <laughs> I want to cry. I'm sort of laughing at the situation because I don't want to cry about it, but oh my God, that exam was horrible. It started off really well. This seems to be a recurring theme with my exam starting off well and then just going downhill. It started off well. The first extract question was really nice, I thought. It was at, right at the end of the play, which is good because I kind of wanted it to be at the end of the play because I always feel like there's a lot more to say because I can drag in sort of like comparisons from the rest of the play. Um, and themes have already been established etc etc but then the second question that was about they give you like a statement and you have to write about the statement um, in like your own sort of oh my god I'm, I can't even form a sentence I can't even explain the exam now but basically they give you a statement and you have to write an answer in relation to that statement and the question was about comedy I study Hamlet a revenge tragedy did we hear that? 
keyword being tragedy and they ask me about comedy there is nothing funny about hamlet everybody dies oh so my answer i was literally clutching at straws i did manage to answer it i talked about a few points and then like most of it was me stretching things out and trying to link it to other points because that is the question that I'm supposed to talk about performances in and critical debates and stuff. There's hardly anything, well I didn't know anything about comedy in relation to critics or performances because funnily enough it's not a funny play but um so I was literally like trying to link it to other things so then I could put critics in and stuff. Mainly I just use critics as sort of like in comparison to it. But yeah, that was so annoying. And that question proper frazzled me because it was going really well up until then. And then like, I just sort of like panicked. And because of that, I then, when I then went on to the third essay, which was my poetry and um, play comparison I compared Rossetti's poetry and A Doll's House by that point I'd like panicked and my writing had just gone downhill and I was really like struggling to find arguments and write eloquently so then that meant that that essay was also like shambles and it wasn't very well worded and I just felt like I was slinging things in for the sake of fulfilling assessment objectives like instead of weaving things into my argument I just felt like I was like crap I need some context oh I need some critical interpretations I was just throwing things in there and as a result my answer is quite disjointed I just feel like it doesn't word and like I just feel like it doesn't flow very well at all like it's just annoying because it just means that it doesn't without sounding cocky like it doesn't represent how well I can write because what's always sort of done me well in English is the fact that I can write quite eloquently and with flair and it just completely took away from that so my answer just sounds so basic and just doesn't represent like the quality that I can write at all because it just sounds so bad but yeah I really don't know and the thing is with OCR grade boundaries is that always so high like I'm pretty sure I need 53 out of 60 in that paper to get an A and I definitely dropped more than seven marks because it was just shambles and I know I can literally like list the things that I didn't fulfill so that's really annoying this has not been a very good start to exams at all but uh, hopefully it picks up from here because I cannot be doing with coming out of every exam like this. So, um, ignore the fact that I have such an ugly crier. I don't actually look that bad at the moment, but I go so red when I cry. <sighs> I'm not really okay at the moment. Um, it's only half past six. I've literally done nothing this evening, but it's just sort of like hit me and I wanted to speak about it because obviously I want these vlogs to be realistic I don't want to sort of sugarcoat how I'm feeling but I always find exams quite hard to talk about because I feel like people are always like oh no you'll do fine like you'll be fine you'll surprise yourself but like I know what my normal standard of work is like I'm normally very consistent with my grades and when I've done worse than that I normally have done worse than that and I don't know I'm just sort of coming to the fact that coming to like terms with the fact that I've probably like, already messed up my uni like first choice uni grades because as I was saying earlier in English if I want to get an A I have to get like 54 out of 60 that's based off last year's grade boundaries but they barely changed in English and then I sort of knew that I'd do worse in English but the fact that I've messed up history as well I don't know like I'm literally two exams in but I just feel like I've messed it up already it's just I don't know and it's not even like I'm unprepared for them. I have done so much like exam practice and stuff. There's literally like nothing more I could do to prepare. And it's just so frustrating because I know that I could do better. But I just don't seem to be doing like as well as I can. It's just, I 
don't know, it's just frustrating. This probably made no sense. You probably can't even understand me, but I just thought I'd let you know how I'm feeling. Hello again. This vlog is literally all over the place. I apologise, but it is seven o'clock now. I have calmed down, as you can see, and we're actually off to Spoons now. I'm going to Weatherspoons with Ellie and Alex to just have a drink and chill really like it's sunny outside still so hopefully we'll be able to sit outside and it'll just take my mind off it really and I don't really have any I don't have any exams until after half term now as well so I can kind of just chill out tonight which will be good because I definitely need a chill <laughs> after this last week okay I am back from spoons now and I just thought I'd end the vlog here I know it's not technically the end of the week but my exams for this week are finished and as I said at the start I think I'm only going to film sort of the days when I have an exam or the days before etc so I'm not going to film anything tomorrow just because I'm at sick form. I'm not really doing anything exam related it's just sort of a normal day of sick form. Obviously I'll be doing some revision but you know what I mean and also this vlog is already like half an hour long so I'm sure you're probably sick of my voice by now but if you have enjoyed this video then make sure to like subscribe and also follow my social media which will be linked down below in the description. Bye guys!